hey my friends so let's talk about stories right the origin story is something in particular that you need to know how to figure out what is it where do you set it why do you need it we're going to talk about that I need to create my origin story so maybe we're going to do that together but so that gives you a good idea of how to do it we're talking about the origin story that you need to have the perfect webinar so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so your origin story right you need an origin story to have the perfect webinar that's something that Russell Brunson teaches in the expert secrets book whoops it's not falling I got the other books there so the expert secrets book right that he talks about the origin story he talks about your uh three secrets your epiphany let me just uh, show that by the way if you're listening to the audio of this right now what I'm showing is the expert secrets book I'm showing some of the pages in it so you want to go check out the video at cis278.jsgagnon.com to go check out the uh the uh, video and the blog post so the origin story he doesn't really talk about that that's kind of interesting the epiphany bridge epiphany bridge scripts the four core stories <clears throat> so he talks about that uh and then the three secrets of stack yeah so I mean if I look at the this book right if I look at the um the things that he's got laid out in the book he doesn't really talk about the epiphany the origin story right he doesn't talk about the origin story in this book not specifically that way uh, but the thing is that to have a perfect webinar there's a new training that just came out which is totally amazing it's like every time he does something new Russell it gets better and you know he did the the uh, the, the perfect webinar revamp or redo if you will <laughs> just just this uh, Thanksgiving and it was it's it's totally insane it was just seven bucks for the whole thing but you if you're in if yeah I'm probably gonna put the link in the blog post so yeah go go ahead and check the blog post but yeah so the origin story is basically what what got you excited about this thing that you're selling right? so you've got a webinar you're trying to sell something at the end that's basically why I do a webinar right so if you're doing a webinar you, you're going to be trying to sell something whether it's a sign up to a, membership, whether it's a course selling, whether it's an affiliate program you're selling having people join some affiliate program right all these things those things that you <clears throat> need an origin story for if you don't have an origin story it's going to be really hard to get people to 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 to, to feel that they need you've got to sell right and that's the, idea the origin story is to make them feel <coughs> sorry make them feel like you felt to get to the point of the belief right now so um so it's kind of you know I, I've, I've been telling stories I'm, I'm not I don't know how good I am at storytelling I'm I don't feel that I'm that great I'm learning more but I tell a story right I mean how I started I started on my own journey by doing by, by finding somebody online by starting to follow them by starting to follow what they were doing trying to copy not not copy because you know, that's what you want to do you don't want to copy somebody else you want to model doing that's what that Tony Robbins says he, he talks about how you model find something that somebody find somebody who's doing who's getting the results that you want to have and model what they're doing right don't copy what they're doing but model what they're doing you know do they have do they have daily videos well yeah then do this do they have a website well then have a blog site do they have a facebook page then have a facebook page do they have a youtube channel then have a youtube channel do they have you know model what they're doing right obviously you can't copy them because you're not them but model what they're doing and so one of the models that I'm following is Russell Brunson what does he have he's got you know for me he's got a website he's, I'm a programmer too so well I don't know I don't know he says he's a programmer I don't know if he's not or not but he's certainly a marketer but he certainly has a website where people pay monthly fee to get on that website so that's what I did I modeled that I've got a website that people can sign on their services on there that are worth the the, the what I'm trying to month and whatever right so I got to make sure that that is a value right then I have to have an epiphany story or a well actually he talks about an epiphany story as well a, an origin story that tells people why they want what I have right and you got to do the same thing whatever it is you're selling whatever it is you, <coughs> um, 
year one you could buy from whatever you wanted to do you have an, an origin story that's how you got to where you are in in your belief it has to do with your belief it has to do with your your conviction that this is awesome that this is the best thing that this is going to help them right so how did how did you come to that feeling right so uh just to get a maybe a better kind of um view on it because I'm not I'm, I'm still learning I'm definitely there's more people that the people that are more qualified than me to do this let me just actually hopefully this uh, earlier I tried it my computer froze so hopefully this time let me show you right now what I'm learning from which is Russell Brunson right he's talking about um the the, the perfect webinar right here is talking about the uh he's going to talk about the origins story and all these things in the perfect webinar <coughs> training so let me just just play that for a few minutes for you so you can see what would be in the back office if you went to get this seven dollar ridiculous offer right so let me just do that right here I'm actually gonna turn on the desktop audio turn on turn off my mic so you can hear it good be plugging them into the perfect webinar okay and there's different frameworks and you're gonna see kind of how these frameworks all fit together um here's the kind of breakdown of the perfect webinar script okay so this is what the perfect webinar framework looks like okay so there's my there's my my strategy okay and then i'm going to be breaking down the tactics obviously um i can tell you guys a ton of stories ahead of time about how i learned or i earned this but i already have okay if you notice as i've been teaching today i've told you guys so many stories about how i learned or i earned this framework so i'm not going to redo that right now but again if you notice all of my teaching all my education you read my books this is how i do my books right i introduce a, a framework chapter one is a framework i tell a story about how i learned or earned it here's the strategy here's all the tactics here's the case studies i'm doing it chapter two here's and i like that's every Every chapter in all my books, that's how I teach them, right? Like uh, when I teach on stage, when I teach, like you'll notice I do it over and over and over and over again. It's just, it's ingrained in my brain now. It should be for you guys as well. It's something you got to practice, but it's going to become part of you. So make sure you understand those four parts. So, so, so important. Okay, so the perfect webinar framework. So this is the overarching strategy, okay? There's a bunch of things we're going to be doing here um, that I'm going to kind of break down here. Uh, as we kind of go through this, um, but this is the key. Now, the first thing... Um, now I'm going to jump right into the, to the presentation. We'll kind of break down from there, okay? So inside the perfect webinar, there are four stories that you have to tell to create a table rush, to get people to buy, okay? So if I'm in a live event, this is what gets people to run up and run to the back of the room. If I'm on a webinar, this is what gets them to run, to go find their wallet, to run back and like type in the digits as quick as they can, okay? It's these four stories. And the stories are tied to your frameworks, as you'll see here in a few minutes, okay? Now, the first story is the first part of this framework, okay? It's the very first thing. This is the first 15 minutes of your presentation, okay? Someone comes on the webinar or you're speaking live event. The very first thing you gotta do is you gotta capture their attention quickly, okay? And so the very first thing we're trying to do is we're trying to take this, the core concept we're teaching them, right? And I need to try, my, my, my goal in that first 15 minutes is to tell my origin story in a way that gets them to believe that what I'm talking about is actually true. Okay, and so that's the that's the first thing. If you notice the little doodle there, there's a guy and he's pushing down this domino. Okay, I talk about this because in every sales presentation, every sales argument, there's always one big domino you have to knock over. And if you can knock that one domino over, then all your other like all your other concerns disappear. Okay, so for me, for example, with click funnels, so I have to convince people that funnels are the 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 tool that is the fastest and the best way to grow their company. If I convince them that funnels are the best thing in the world, best things in sliced bread, that'll knock the domino over and they have to give me money okay so that's my goal okay and so for you it could be something different let's say you are selling a ketogenic diet you've got to convince them the big domino if you can get them to believe that a ketogenic diet is the thing that's actually going to help them to finally lose weight that's the big domino that's all you have to convince people of okay sometimes people think in sales we have to convince people of five or six things and the answer is actually the exact opposite in any sales argument or try to convince somebody of more than one thing my conversions will immediately drop in half 
okay? So I'm not trying to convince people of more than one thing. The only thing I'm trying to convince you in my entire 90-minute presentations is that funnels are the greatest way for you to grow your company online. That's it, okay? I'm going to hit it from a different, bunch of different angles as you'll see here, but there's only one thing I'm trying to get you to believe, the big domino, that big domino statement. If you like, read the Expert Secrets book, I talk a lot about this big domino statement. Like, what is that thing? If I get them to believe that, they have to give me money, okay? So for you, I think, like, what is it? Is that they have to believe that they need an online course? Do they have to believe that... Um, that they need these supplements, they have to believe, like whatever that thing is, if you can get them to believe that, then they will do anything to get it, right? So for me, that's always my goal. If I get you to believe you have to have a funnel, I got you. So my very first 15 minutes of my presentation, what I'm gonna do is tell you the origin story about why I believe that this thing, this big domino, is, is the, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you my origin story about how I learned about this thing that I'm gonna be presenting over the rest of the presentation. Okay, now if you do this correctly, in the first 15 minutes, um, there'll be a percentage of people who will buy in the first 15, like they'll be ready to buy after the first 15 minutes. Okay, they're gonna hear your origin story and they're gonna be ready to sign up because that's all it took for them. Okay, um, and so that's kind of the first thing. So let me walk you through this. So the first 15 minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell what I call the Epiphany Bridge story. And some of you have heard me tell this story before. I talk about this a lot at stages. I talk about it a lot inside the Expert Secrets book. The Epiphany Bridge story, um, this is the story about how you learned about this thing, right? How I, be, how I started geeking out and became obsessed. That's pretty crazy, right? I mean, <clears throat> seriously, it's, it's definitely something. Let me just uh, get out of the full screen here definitely something that is really <laughs> it's 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 mind bent mind boggling right i mean this is uh where's my webcam let me get the webcam back on here sorry about that where is it right there let's bring that back over here yeah so i mean it's that's that's what the origin story is epiphany bridge story so what made you believe or feel the way you feel or you know all that right so what is it that that, that, that got you to that point right that you got you to where you are convinced that this is the thing so whatever it is you're selling like Russell talks about right whatever it is and by the way if you want to learn more obviously this is this is not mine this is not my training I can't show you the whole thing that that just wouldn't be uh, that just wouldn't be right um and it's not because I want to sell you something because you can just go google it if you want but if you want to have the link I have obviously I would appreciate you using my um, my affiliate link which is whoops which is this one here right pw.jeansergegagnon.com so if you go there you can get this perfect webinar the whole training uh for seven dollars it's it's ridiculous right seven bucks for this is like in, in, insane definitely you need to get that but if you're if you're uh like I said you can just google it and find it you find somebody else's link I don't it doesn't really matter to me I think this is amazing training so okay so the epiphany story my epiphany bridge <coughs> story what is my epiphany bridge story right what why do I think that being um because right now what I'm doing is I'm doing a webinar on being omnipresent right so let's just actually go and create a little a, a new file here I'm going to create a new text file just to have notes so let's just write that up right here what is my epiphany story right so let's just put that right here <clears throat> okay so my origin story right so what's my so what's your origin story what 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 do you want to be able to answer right so why do I believe do I believe that my offer is the best thing since sliced bread right <laughs> since sliced bread or since uh, uh I don't know I guess sliced bread is the only thing that's that's the most uh, because I guess in the back in the day right when they used to have bread they would cook it in their little oven and they would just rip it off and give it pieces well that was good bread and you can still do that you can still bake a whole loaf right but you know cutting the bread up in like exact perfect slices all the same sizes that's amazing right <laughs> so okay so why do I believe that my offer is the best thing since sliced bread sorry so something else he talks about is the um the the emotions that you went through right what are the emotions you went through that whoops you went through that gave you that belief 
believe 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 right what are the emotions you went through were you you know what what got you excited about it what got you <clears throat> and maybe that's not really the right question but anyways I'm just kind of taking notes here right uh, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better there you go yeah so my origins what's oh, oh, yeah that's not so what is my origin story right okay so why do I believe that my offer is the best thing since sliced bread uh what are the emotions uh I well let's just make this I went through right because it's really about my story and of course for you you'll have to ask yourself the same questions so how did you discover it right how did you discover this thing that you're selling or you're promoting or you're 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 wanting people to buy right um so what what were your struggles before finding finding it right so what were your struggles before finding it <clears throat> so basically putting together stories kind of telling people how it was back then what did you find out how is it now right so the the core the core story uh parts are how was it back then what happened right what did you discover and then and then how is it now right how is it now right so th those are the core parts whoops not code core core parts of a story right so those are the core parts of the story you need to you need to be able to answer these things and this is kind of how you tell the story right that, anyways that's kind of what I learned in terms of storytelling so I mean I could say something like for me I could say you know I used to I used to want to be omnipresent I used to to be trying to post everywhere and and I was I was struggling to learn the different platforms and to to create all the assets that I needed I needed to you know so I started like sharing my YouTube video for example on on Facebook and on LinkedIn and and you know that got me some 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 visibility but the thing is that the platform wouldn't show my stuff it just, I wouldn't get no comments and even today if I try that I get no comments if I try to post a link to my YouTube video I get almost no comments sometimes usually no comments sometimes I'll get one or two but <clears throat> you know I'm not getting any kind of engagement people aren't even seeing my stuff and I'm not getting any leads I wasn't getting any <clears throat> uh, even though I was working hard at at creating the content at creating the assets at, at at splitting up the taking screenshots at doing other things doing a whole whole bunch of other uh you know I would I would create a picture for Instagram then I would take that picture out of Instagram and then I would post it and I still do some of that but I mean it's just so much work to do all that and to and to not do it regularly and not be on on um, you know that's it's it's just not it's just not giving me the results right I'm not getting the connections I'm not getting the the content I'm feeling like I I'm overwhelmed I'm taking too much time to create all these things and it just doesn't work right so what happened is I actually uh, started seeing lots of leaders <clears throat> posting everywhere and I started I started posting right I started posting I started doing things I started to feel like oh this is cool this the, I'm getting these people to see my stuff and it's starting to to get some sort of traction and and but it's taking so much time right but then what happens I learned from one of my mentors the octo content model that taught me how to take one piece of content right a single piece of content which is my video my pillar video and take pieces out of that and then share that everywhere right but the thing is that that still took time it still took a lot of time and that's in the, in that framework he actually tells us do it once a week right because he knows it takes time to create all these pieces and then to post once a week right he said post once a week and for me I was like well yeah but all the other leaders are posting every single day how can I post every single day it takes so long to create all the assets to, to extract all the stuff to create the shorter videos and I was like well I gotta find a way so what happened for me is I actually built I'm a programmer so I built a platform and I'm like okay you know what there, I'm I can't be the only one that needs or wants to be able to do this right so I'm like this is something I'm going to build so that other people can use and I did that <clears throat> and I built this platform now I use it 
I create my video I, I put my video in there and I click a button and it just generates everything for me and I can take those assets and I share them on Instagram I share them on on LinkedIn I share them on Pinterest I share them on and all this sharing takes me just 20 minutes right and that lets me focus on other things right I'm building other things I'm building a business I'm doing all sorts of things so that's what happened to me now I don't know how you know great this story is but that's kind of when I look at this I think about okay what is it what are my struggles my struggles uh before finding it right what are the emotions I went through it's like I just need to find something right and I was like oh this is awesome I can do this now I can I, I learned <clears throat> lots of stuff that I didn't know from Mark Lalonde in the octo content model right I learned a lot of things about you know iTunes about Alexa scales about about you know using some tools to put some things on top of videos and things like that so you can have little uh, text in the beginning so that uh, people can see your words right I learned all these different things right and but the thing is that it's it still takes a lot of time to do all that right so I wanted to simplify it I wanted to make it easy because you know I actually don't have 10 <laughs> hours a day <coughs> to do stuff I have a day job I I have a family I have I ha, I don't I have a, a weekends we do things I can't be spending all my time doing all this stuff <coughs> so I mean that's kind of how it happened for me right I I I just couldn't you know for me it's it had to be well not that it had to be for me I was like I if I'm going to be posting I might as well be posting every single day I'd rather be posting every single day than once a week because for me it's like well if you post just once a week what do you do the rest of the rest of the days in the week right and it's like well you do other stuff yeah but um, anyways so there's there's some <clears throat> some other but that's kind of how you get to your origin story right so why do you believe that your offer is the best thing since sliced bread what are the emotions that you went through that gave you that belief <clears throat> now how did you discover it how did you discover this thing right if it's if you're trying to sell weight loss right well how did you discover the weight loss what's the story what happened who who connect contacted you how did you learn about it right I mean maybe you learned you saw a friend that was losing weight losing weight and melting away and after a couple months you decide you know what I I should have I should have gotten that so much earlier but I just it just it just that's just the time it took me but you know you could get better results by starting now not don't wait I mean I waited for six months and I I'm disappointed that it took I basically I could have started six months ago when I saw my friend talking about it first right but I didn't because I need I had these beliefs that you know oh this is probably not real it's probably not true whatever and then I then I started seeing results I'm like oh my god that's insane and then I started taking it and then I was like wow I'm losing weight and anyways I'm just saying that's an example of a story right talking about how it affected you how you got to it what happened to get it how are your results how are you today now oh my god today I feel so much better I've lost a bunch of weight I sleep better I have less less anxiety falling asleep I'm I'm more relaxed my I sleep uh, yeah my nights I sleep better at night I feel you know I have a more of a controlled hunger I don't feel like eating crap all the time it's like really insane how amazing this has made me feel so I mean yeah you could do something like that right so that's your origin story the origin story is the part of the webinar like Russell was talking about the four stories right the first story the first 15 minutes of your presentation is about this whole thing how you came to there and me I've got to do that in my webinar right because I'm doing a webinar right now on omnipresence right how to be omnipresent on social media how to use these tools <coughs> that allow you to actually post every single day like like what I'm doing right I'm posting every single day I'm recording these videos like this is a, we're at 24 minutes I record like about a 30 minute video and then I share it to all the platforms right I share it to uh to 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 YouTube to my blog to Facebook to LinkedIn to Instagram to um where else to SoundCloud to Click eCourse to I do a, a shorter video on TikTok 
and then I do a shorter video on snapchat as well and then I share that to uh, LinkedIn stories and and Twitter stories or Twitter fleets right and and I then there's automation that shares it to Alexa and shares it to iTunes Apple iTunes right shares the podcast to um uh, where else to 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 Stitcher to Google podcast to iHeartRadio uh Spotify right so all that's all that shares my uh, podcast on all those platforms right so that lets me be omnipresent I'm everywhere right and it just takes me 20 minutes 20 minutes that's it I mean other than the recording of the content right I write a blog post I create the video or actually the other way around I create the video and then I write a blog post and then I generate the assets and then I share so it takes me about an hour and a half to do all that right because it takes me an hour to half an hour to record the video about half an hour to uh, write the blog post and then 20 minutes to share right so maybe 30 minutes right with the, the stories so about an hour and a half less than two hours and I know that it sounds like well two hours I that's that's a lot of time but you know what you're um, omnipresent you're everywhere if you look at how Gary V does stuff he he's got a team right of I don't know 20 30 people doing the content for him he can create 64 pieces of content from one thing but he's not doing it he's got a team doing that for him right and sharing and putting it everywhere but you can do it yourself too and that anyways I, sorry I'm trying to pitch here but no that's the thing so I do that I do that every single day and I know it's it's it can be overwhelming but it's definitely something that's worth it. it makes a huge difference in your people are starting to re, you know really respect and look up to me and saying uh, they're they're in, inspired by my consistency and all these things right and that's awesome I really uh, I really think that's awesome I appreciate that people saying that but I still have to figure out how to do the webinar the right way I've still I'm not I'm still struggling I could get more people to my to my landing page right to register but I feel like if I do that and the webinar is not right it's going to be a waste of money right getting people in the, the whatever so I've I have to figure out lots of different things and one of the things is the actual stories and you know one of one of the things I've learned too is that you don't want to be like I'm not going to do anything until it's perfect because it'll never be perfect right so where are the lines between okay I'm going to do the webinar and I can't do it yet where's that line right where you can't do it yet and you're ready for it right so that's the line I'm kind of trying to figure out but for me I've been doing I've actually been doing it this is this will be the eighth week that I do this webinar and by the way if you're interested in checking it out it's basically this this link to ourworkday.com so to hr and then w o r k d a y right so to our workday.com so you can actually go register there to go check out my my process right um but yeah so that's the thing there's so much stuff you got to do the origin story is the first part because if you don't if you don't have a good origin story which I think I might not yet in the web in the webinar I got to improve that then people are going to be like well they, they're not really they're not going to buy at the end because they you didn't make them feel like they needed it right and maybe they'll stay because they 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 want to see what else you got to say and they've already committed to that time or whatever but they they probably won't buy because they're going to be not convinced that this that they need this right so you really have to have a good origin story anyway so that's that yeah so that's what the origin story like I said the perfect webinar whoops where's my mouse the perfect webinar right the perfect webinar from Russell Brunson now the other thing is that there is obviously upsells like any other uh, uh of his stuff and most entrepreneurs online have that so he's got this 10x master class which was one of the things that somebody that was asking me about what's in the 10x master class I mean look at that the 10x secrets master class that's an extra something extra you got a <coughs> an upsell but it's a lot of stuff in here right and let's see if that uh, kind of tells us. Something.
Hey, everyone's Russell, and welcome you to the 10X Secrets Masterclass. We are so excited to have you here inside the members area, and I know it's something that you are going to love. Now, um, really quick, I want to just, before we get started into this, I want to thank you so much for investing, and in, um, the fact that you invested in this coaching program, I do not take that lightly. I know that all of us have a lot of things happening in our lives, There's a lot of uh, things we're busy with. I know that money, you know, it costs money to invest in things like this, and I don't take that lightly. So because of that, I have put everything that I have into this training program to make sure you are successful. And so the biggest thing, it really comes down to you jumping in and immersing yourself. Um, you know, I, they always say you can lead a horse to water, you can't make it drink. So I have brought you to the water, it's here. And if you will dive into it and enjoy it and experience it and implement it, I promise you, everything that's here inside this members area will change your life. There have been people that have had less than this from us who've made multiple millions of dollars of businesses. And I think you can do the same thing if you would just dive in and just do it. And so I wanna encourage you to do that. Now, in this initial training, there's a whole bunch of really cool things. The first is um, this, the Attendee Secrets Masterclass. There's three core video trainings. You're going to be going through. Um, the total training is about six hours. It's a lot, but I, t- I promise you it's worth it. You're going to learn how to create an irresistible offer that people are going to go crazy for, okay? If you don't have an offer yet, that's a big piece of it. Number two, you're going to learn a, a kind of the structure of the perfect webinar so you really understand that. And number three, we're actually going to go in, you're going to watch the entire TEDx presentation with me, and then we're going to push play. I'm going to talk about something. We'll pause, and we'll talk about what I did and why I did, and push play again, and pause, play, pause, so you kind of see behind the scenes of what I was doing it and why I was doing it. So. there yeah wow so that's totally crazy right this whole thing like six hours and then there's also a whole bunch of other um things in here uh the new perfect webinar which is what what it it must be similar to whatever is in the in the default but there's probably some additional things I for me every time I listen to Russell whether it's the first time or a new training or 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 another time of the same training I've already listened to I, I learn something new every time right and that's the thing so and then he talks about how he made three million in 90 minutes right he talks about the uh the slide by slide walkthrough oh yeah well that'll be good the event choreography I'm not really sure what that's provide the training I did for inner circle members yeah wow how did that happen right and then you've got mp3 that you can download uh anyways there's a whole bunch of other and it like there's this one here I think it was it this one the, well <coughs> no that's not it there was one here that had a ton of extra training all right it must be this one this one here yes so this one here is really cool that's part of the 10x masterclass. there's all these webinars that are here that's you can like watch to get a, 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 to wrap your brain about the perfect webinar by seeing how he does it in a whole bunch of different um you know different webinars right and not just him right Caitlin uh Caitlin uh, doing funnel builder secrets right uh two comma club Grant Cardone the funnel hacker live live affiliate promotion right all these things that give you more and more understanding what the perfect webinar is anyways whatever I'm like I said I'm 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 pitching I don't want to be pitching but if you're interested you can look it up or uh like I said before you can actually go to my link which I would appreciate we get um I, of course I'll get some commission out of that once you're in here you can actually become your own affiliate and you can send your link to your friends so they can get so you can get some commission out of this too right so yeah so that's it that's it for today I think that's enough <laughs> you know that's enough uh we'll talk in the next episode have yourself a great day until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.